What's going on guys? Welcome to my home office tour in 2024. Let's go take a look. So we work from home, we work from here quite a bit, whether it's creating thumbnails, YouTube videos, paid packages, paid media, whatever it is, this is kind of our home base right now. And we have created this room to be actually pretty functional. So we have two different computer setups, full gear closet, and plenty of storage spaces. So let's go take a more detailed look. So right here we have some shelves from Amazon. We keep some different memorabilia that I have. One of the main themes in this room is actually gonna be sports just because both of us are athletes and it's something that we both enjoy. I think the most important part of this studio setup for me is actually this putting green right here. So if ever I get in a little bit of a creative block or need a little bit of break from sitting at the computer, just bring a ball over here. Can nail some putts, have a little putter collection over here. So here we have a filing cabinet where we keep some of our documents and then on top of it, we just keep a printer. Here we have a Brett Favre signed football and an Anthony Munoz signed helmet. Now this helmet's not any helmet though. Helmet phone. And then here we have an Ikea lamp with just a RGB bulb in there with, that we can control with my phone and then a salt lamp. So these are all knickknacks and props that we use for B-roll, top downs, um, product shoots, anything like that. So that's why we have like a Rubik's cube here, the different fake plants, the alarm clock, like all this stuff is things that we use on a daily basis to do B-roll on product photography. And then right here, this is something that's kind of special to me. I keep, if you guys are OGs of the channel, you'll know that I used to film my entire life as a Division I athlete. And this is the championship ring that I got at Ball State University for winning the 2022 MAC championship. So definitely pretty cool. Um, definitely something I'm proud of and something that I like to keep on display right here. Right here we keep the magnetic light that we use for B-roll and to do backlighting with RGB. Nice thing is it is magnetic. So it sticks right to the metal there, it stays out of the way. Then I just have some shelves. I keep a treasure chest up here for product photography B-roll, but we also keep baseballs in it. On this shelf, it can either get really, really full or sometimes it gets a little empty depending how much of the gear that we're actually using in here, but I keep an extra sure microphone here, some stands, some extra business cards, some extra computer things, and some tacks. Right here we have, again, some more sports memorabilia. This is my, this is the lineup card where my college team, Ball State, beat the University of Arizona. My coach was nice enough to give me the card because I was actually the winning pitcher. I like to keep all the sports memorabilia that you're seeing in this room displayed because it really just helps lighten the vibe in this room and it really does bring back some good memories for me. And I think it looks good in the studio. So coming on over to here, we actually have the gear closet. This home that we have in Scottsdale just happened to have this built in as a closet and we basically turned it into the gear closet. So this is our main shooting angle. I have two fake bamboo plants from Ikea. These, I think, really help add a little bit of color to this really, really dark room. And then we actually have this little enriched media, which is our media production company. Uh, that was a Christmas gift. I really like the way that it looks there. But this is where we keep all the gear. So I'll just give you a little light breakdown on kind of how we organize this. It may look messy, but I promise you there's a place for everything. Top right, we have tripods and stands. So whether it's your Joby Gorilla Pods or maybe the little bigger tripods up top here, this actually goes all the way up into the wall. We have some extra lights, some light stands, um, some Pelican cases. We keep all of our extra boxes here. So here's a little bit of a glimpse of the computer that we're rocking on the main setup that we'll show you in just a second. So right here we have the Oculus Quest 2 with some books that we've read. These are all books that I've read that I enjoyed. And then right here, again, sticking with the college theme, we have a Cardinal with the Mac tournament medallion that we got. I don't know, I just hung it on the Cardinal because I thought it looked funny. So right here we have our C camera. This is the Sony a6500 with a 12 millimeter lens on it. This just kind of lives right here until we need it. And then this is kind of where we're gonna be keeping the main lenses. So these are my APS-C lenses. Here we have an 18 to 105 and a little nifty 50 1.8. And then here's a full frame 28 to 75 that gets used a ton. 
And then this is actually one of my favorite pieces of gear that any beginner filmmaker or advanced filmmaker needs to have. This is a teleprompter. As you can tell, it's just kind of made out of plastic, a little bit of glass. You put your phone right here and you're able to read the scripts uh, for your talking head videos or for advertisements or anything that you really just want to nail the talking head version for. This is absolutely great. Then right here we have our Mavic Air 2, which is our main drone. And then we have the Fly More kit. So we have the little like MERS that it comes with, with the controller and extra batteries. And that just lives on this shelf down here. We have some adapters. And then right here we have our extra computer accessories. So we have the Apple Magic Mouse, uh, Magic Keyboard, and a Logitech keyboard. I don't know if you guys have got a peek of this camera yet, but this is actually gonna be our main camera for commercial shoots, real estate, business shoots, whatever we end up doing. This is probably the main heavy hitter we're gonna use on set, and it is actually our DJI Ronin 4D. This camera is an absolute beast, shoots 6K ProRes RAW, has 1000 terabyte SSD, and it's the most stable camera on the market. So if you wanna see our full review on this camera, it'll be linked in the description. And this is an absolute beast and we love it so far. But this just lives either in its Pelican case or right there. And then right here we have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Bag. Again, I've already done a full walkthrough on what we keep in our camera bag. This kind of just lives down here on the floor. Easy to grab when we're getting ready to leave. And then tucked behind this corner. I mean, these shelves are really, really deep. Keep some Xbox games, um, Nintendo Switch games, some tripods, a monopod, and an extra Xbox controller. And then we also keep a couple extra monitors back here if we were to rig the cameras up. That is kind of our main storage area in the studio. We got the shelves over here and then the gear closet right here. And now we're gonna get into the main part that you're here to see in this studio tour. It's gonna be our dual setups. So first we're gonna start with the PC that I built right here. So right here, we have a dual monitor setup with a Razer keyboard and a Google mouse. This computer, when I built it, I think I built it in 2019, was an absolute powerhouse. Once we upgraded our camera gear a little bit, it became a little less reliable from an editing standpoint, but this is where we do the majority of the business administration, dumping footage, organizing SSDs, organizing hard drives, whatever. Whatever administrative work needs to be done, this is kind of where it lives. And this is also a massive gaming computer still. So every once in a while I'll come in here and game on this, but not a ton. So we do have two people working out of this office most of the time. And so we have right here just a gaming chair that we got from Office Depot. Pretty comfortable. Um, not the best for filming in because of the handles. They're a little loud, but it is quite comfortable to work in, game in, whatever you need to do. One of the things that I forgot to mention off to the right of this um, computer setup is actually gonna be my bat grave. So I am a pitcher and all of these are Eric Sims bats. I don't know if you guys know who Eric Sim is, but if you do, you probably saw the video where I pitched against him and he broke all of these bats and I made him sign them for me after I broke his bat. So I just keep these here. I think it's funny, nice little set piece. So one of the things that we've been really deliberate setting up this room is actually trying to maximize the space for filming angles. So probably our second most popular filming angle is actually gonna be from this desk with this window all the way up. I'll just put a Joby Gorillapod wide lens and shoot back towards this wall squared. So you get the nice color behind. There's plenty of things going on in the background, but it's not too distracting. So this is probably my second favorite filming angle that we have. Right here we have a really nice big window with a blackout curtain or a shade on it. This usually is probably gonna be open for us during the day, just because we like to get a little bit of natural light in here. But right now, for filming purposes, we have it closed. Here you can see the PC that we built. Right next to it, we have an extra tripod where we like to set it up and film this direction kind of at an angle. And then this is kind of bringing us into the main setup area. This is gonna be where you're seeing the majority of the videos being filmed from. So let's do a quick little breakdown on this entire area. So we'll just kind of work from the wall back over this way. So we mounted a full-size whiteboard to the wall using mounting tape. <laughs> Some clear mounting tape, hopefully won't take the paint off the wall. This is where we're writing stuff down, doing to-do lists, whatever it is. Then you see this little Amazon. I think this is supposed to be like an entryway. Uh, 
table that you put like your keys on and things like that. But we will put our Elgato key light right there in the corner to give us some sort of light. One of the issues that we ran into with this studio is how tight we had to put the desks up against the wall. So we don't have any natural light coming from this wall, so we needed something a little bit more low profile. If you come in tight here, you can see how thin the profile of the Elgato key light is. And it's not the softest light in the world, but as far as the profile, it works perfectly here in this studio. But this kind of just lives right here. And then we have our main studio editing space. Right here we have a Mac Studio M2 Max. Absolute powerhouse of a computer. It's been a lifesaver from a time standpoint for editing. We were able to edit 6K, we're able to edit all the photos that we need, we're able to edit basically everything that we need. And then on this desk, we have a 49 inch curved Samsung monitor. This has really been a game changer because we're able to fit all these different things on the screen. And when you're editing, once you go to an ultra wide screen, you're never gonna go back because of all the bandwidth that you have to edit on the timeline. So one of my favorite things about this desk is gonna be the glass top. Right here inside the drawer, we keep plenty of whiteboard markers for this uh, whiteboard, or if you're doing some work and need to make a note on the table, go ahead and zoom in on that you're able to write on the table, which I think is pretty cool. So as far as keyboard goes for the setup, we actually use the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini. This is a brown switch. So if you come in here, you're able to see we have the nice brown switches. They're a little bit more muted, but they're still really satisfying to type on. And it's a USB-C charging, which with the Mac Studio, you have USB-C access right there at all times, which makes it really, really nice to keep the peripherals charged up. We have a desk mat just from Amazon. If you guys wanna get anything that you've seen that we've mentioned from Amazon or anything in the setup, we'll make sure to have all the links down in the description on how to buy it. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps support the channel and we definitely appreciate you using our links. So paired with the keyboard, we actually have the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. This is built perfectly for video editing with the sideways scroll wheel, and it has the wheel on top, two programmable buttons, and the biggest thing, charging right on the front. So with the Mac Apple Magic Mouse, charging's on the bottom. You guys all know the, how terrible it actually is. But right here, we're able to charge it from the front, which is really nice. One of the main things that I notice about using this mouse though, is gonna be the comfort and ergonomics that it fits in your hand puts you in a little bit more of a supinated position, which over a long editing day really does make a difference. Those are the mouse and keyboard that we use on this setup. So for our audio interface, we have everything plugged into the Elgato Wave XLR right here. Headphones and then connected to it is gonna be our Shure microphone through XLR. One of the big upgrades for this desk that I've noticed so far is going to be the Elgato low profile mic arm. So. We'll show you guys what it looks like when we set up the full look in studio here, but you're able to get that out of frame. So you no longer have those big boom arms coming into frame, blocking half your frame just to get the mic in shot. What this does is it comes up right from under, just have a mic right there, super clean, and it really does work really well on this desk. One thing about the Costco desk, if you guys are going to get it, you need to understand that mounting things to it can be really, really difficult because of how thick this is. We've ran into quite a few issues. I actually had to do a little bit of DIY on the Elgato low profile mic arm and probably can't resell it, but it works for now, which I'm really happy about. And then one little detail on this desk that I'd like to show you that we use for product design, product shoots, and similar to the little knickknacks that we have on the shelves over there is gonna be our little mini film camera. I'd like to make a full dedicated video with this, but it's a fully functioning camera it actually has film in there. So if you guys in the comments know, how old is this camera? Because I would love to make a full video and get that film developed, but it's a fully working camera. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I just took a photo. Then right above the editing setup, we have my college jersey, which I think is pretty cool. So this is going to be our charging station. It kind of just lives next to the putting green on this outlet right here. This is gonna be what it, looks like from a standpoint of day-to-day -day charging. It's not the most organized, but it is gonna be how we actually use it. Right here we have a lot of USB-C charging. So this is gonna be the 
majority of what we are charging is USB-C things. And then we have our A7S chargers, our A65 chargers, our DJI drone chargers, and then our Ronin chargers right over there. We just tried to consolidate and make sure that everything's in one simple place that we're able to make sure that we have everything charged. And this is kind of the way that we figured out in this room works best. So you guys are on the administrative desk right now. One of the things that you'll notice is we have a view of our living room TV. One of the things we like to do is just, it's on a swivel, kind of tilt it towards the room. It's really, really nice to be able to throw our videos up on the big screen and review them, watch them, and enjoy them. So that's what we use that TV for. And then if you, Bear with me for a second and close this door. This might be my favorite part of the room. So we keep a mini basketball. We have a little mini basketball hoop. A lot of trick shots are happening in here. And I'm basically Kobe Bryant. Jimmer. So one of my favorite things about this studio is actually gonna be our main filming setup. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how long it takes me to set this up. We'll be filming on the A65 since we're filming on the A7S right here, but let's go set it up. So first things first, we're gonna need to get the A65, and then we're gonna need to get our Joby Gorilla Pod. This tripod sucks, but it does the job. It's small. Connect it right there, extend the arms out. This is gonna be the chair that I sit in. It's just a nice little Ikea chair. And then this is going to be our main filming setup. So. Try to level these out. And then you spin this. We're able to do that. Now you guys might be wondering where this, where's the shotgun mic? This is where the Elgato Low Profile comes in. You can loosen this up, move it a little bit, and then you can position this exactly where you need to. Tighten it up. It'll be right out of frame. Nice, very clean, crisp audio. And then we just go into GarageBand. Open up GarageBand. Delete that. And we're recording audio. So as you can see right here, we're able to monitor our audio waveforms right there. And it's just gonna be, that's our main shooting setup. So we shoot back into this corner right here and it's a great looking setup for videos. So this is, a, this is gonna be my favorite talking head setup but sometimes it feels a little bit too formal. So my second favorite place to film is going to be on the administrative desk. So what we do, just kind of move the keyboard over here, plop this guy down right here. If it's too dark, we can always open up the light, get some natural light in here as well. This is one of my favorite talking heads. We either need to have a lav mic though, or we need to have a shotgun mic on the camera. But it's a little bit more detailed and I really like how square it is. So one of my favorite things to do when shooting in a small space is shoot either into a corner. So I like this wall right here, this corner, to be directly in the middle of my shot from our main shooting area. But if I'm shooting from our secondary area right here, I like the wall to be square. Just some of the preferences that I have from a aesthetic standpoint, but that is our secondary shooting area. So here we have our lit up closet look. So right here's where we would have the camera on a tripod for our talking head versions. Um, one of the things I really like is the dark background, but we have lights in there so you're able to see the details, all the different uh, pieces of gear that we have in there. And it's really a interesting looking shot compared to the rest of the stuff, the options that we have in this room. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Jimmer. I'm him for that.